But I knew uh, from the beginning that Julian was being set up. He was being set up in a classic uh, trap uh, that uh, has been played out. It's in the playbook. It's been used many times. Uh, and, uh, and so I never doubted for one moment Julian Assange's bona fides, his integrity. And he's having to show that integrity now every single day in the situation he's in. How do you think the, the public should fight for Julian Assange, other than watching these types of vigils and tuning in and sharing them? What are some of the ways they can actively empower themselves in fighting for Julian Assange and his well, freedom? Well, we need to never allow a piece of disinformation uh, to, uh, to pass unchallenged. So I have the best part of two million followers on social media. Whenever I see the utterly false allegation about Julian and Sweden and, uh, and rape and so on. I never allow it to stand. I challenge it every time. Sometimes even our own supporters uh, make mistakes in not challenging. Someone just the other day, one of our supporters on Twitter uh, said the Swedes had dropped the charges. There were no charges. He wasn't charged. They refused to come to London and interview him uh, as part of their inquiry into him. That's all there was. Even though they had done so many times, even with murder uh, um, suspects. And of course, you don't need to be Einstein to work out why they didn't want to come to London to uh, conduct an investigation, to uh, uh, have an interview with him.